Aloha y'all, welcome back to Pete's Treasures. Today I'm showing you a thrift haul I did from St. Vincent's and Thrift Giant. Some of my go-tos, and let's get started. So this was interesting right away. It was about $3, but um, I know this is Pond Stars, but it doesn't even say Pond Stars, it just has their shop, Gold and Silver Pond Shop. So it's a puzzle. Um, I know, I've been buying a lot of puzzles. I've kind of stopped, but this one was too cool to pick up. Um, it's a thousand piece, so yeah, I'm just gonna take a look and see if it's all there and we'll see. It can go for about 25 to 30, um, but I did not find any online, so that's interesting. Now this was about $3. I just couldn't help but get it. It's Studio Pottery. I actually got this one from Goodwill. I need to find out more info, but it looked nice and look, someone was selling it at an antique store for about 65. Doesn't make the value, but it's good to know, and I thought it was worth picking up. Um, if I had to guess, I'd say probably 30 bucks. Really pretty. I love it. Excuse me. Okay. This is Protects Paws. Um, they're actually not all in there, but look at him. Isn't he cute? 100% biodegradable. That's interesting because it felt like a balloon to me. Disposable. Really cute. Um, I don't know why I got it, y'all. It was too cute. 83 cents. Uh, maybe we'll try putting it on Benjamin. He probably wouldn't like it, though. Now, these are Ray Dunn. They ended up being a bust, and I'll tell you why. Um, I always try and inspect the product, but sometimes a defective product, you know, eludes me. It was $0.65 cents each, so it's not a big loss. From Ray Dunn, of course, Artisan Collection by Magenta. Gulp. Um, this one has the little chip. That one's not a big deal, but it's not really sellable. I'm going to give it to my brother for Storm. She's my niece, my little kitty. Kitty niece. <laughs> I think it's really cute, and I think Andrew will like it. So, Andrew, if you see this, Merry Christmas. And this one, I was sad. I, didn't, I did not see that. How could I have not seen it? It's a little crack. It's not enough of a crack to affect how it works, you know, like it won't leak water or anything but i'll give that to andrew too my brother um okay this one however we can sell cat's rule so yeah 65 cents now these are super cute this vintage wallpaper border from sunworthy it was 209 um probably sell separately um but yeah give them a discount if they buy more than one Disney Babies, of course. So, so, so cute. I just, I can't not pick up really vintage things like that. So, a few videos ago, I showed a Mary Ingle Bright uh, Mother's Day garden flag. This one is brand new feeling. Father's Day Mary Ingle Bright garden flag. And, um, yeah. So, really, really cool. Um, it was only like $1.50. Great price. Now, this just struck my fancy very heavy it was three dollars um studio pottery i think little tiny chip right there flea bite really um looks interesting huh um i don't know then there's a bug i need to clean it great but really really cool i want to look more into that otherwise i'll keep i just love it now this is for me i paid up for it <laughs> It is 1990. I just really liked it. It's going to go in my planter collection outside. I mean, I just love me a good anthropomorphic pineapple planter. Um, it does have that chip, which is why I feel like it shouldn't have been $3. But very cute nonetheless. So, yeah. Let's go right here. This is a Pyrex refrigerator dish lid. I always want to pick these up. Um, there is a minor, minor, minor little... Oh, right there. Right Boom, right there, a little chip, but it won't, again, it won't um, affect the function of the lid. And it has a little, that is just an uh, inclusion, I think is what they call it, just um, a manufacturer defect. It's not a crack, really. Um, so yeah, that was like a dollar something, so I always want to pick up Pyrex lids. If we ever have an antique booth, that would be great to sell it at. These, I thought this was the Enchanted Tiki Room Drummer, but really it's not. And I want to know what these are. This is like the shell game where you hide the medallion. And each one has the alligator. There he is. And he has a fez hat. So I thought it was Tiki or Tiki adjacent. And I asked 
the leading tiki e expert that I know, Jason T. Smith, on the thrifting board. And alas, it's just, it's not tiki. But it's interesting, I can't find anything about it, so we might list it high, you never know. This is beautiful. I always try to pick up stuff by Sandra Magsaman. I don't know exactly how to say it, for Sylvestri. This is a really nice painted tile, which can be used as a trivet, I guess, which is why it has little feet on it. Um, I think it's beautiful. Um, it was $1.50, great price. This reminds me of my Mikasa flounder dishes. Um, really, really cute glass bowl for like $1.50. Now, this reminded me of Marshall Pottery because of the blue stamping. Um, it feels like it's vintage and an antique. It's just hard to tell. It was only $1.49. Super, super heavy. We actually might use that for our dogs outside. That way it won't be kicked around as much. Um, but we'll see. This is so cute. 83 cents. It's Studio Nova, which is a pretty good brand. It's all over the place. Um, made in Japan. It is the Fiesta pattern. And I just love it. So I might keep that one. It's very colorful and cheerful and a little vintage looking to me. Speaking of vintage looking, this is corduroy, corduroy fabric. It's not that big. It's almost like a remnant um, or scrap, but it was only 70 cents and I thought someone might want it for something and I just couldn't pass it up. I love vintage fabric. Oh my gosh, blah, 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 blah. I'm doing too much talking. I love vintage fabric and speaking of, now, Matthew did show me that this is a homemade pillowcase. I still think it could sell. Uh, obviously, it's Looney Tunes, and um, it was 70 cents, but the person who made it messed up a little bit, and it kind of goes in a little bit. It's kind of hard to see in the video, but love selling vintage Looney Tunes stuff, and it seems like I've been finding a lot of it lately. Um, this is a cute little Melamine um, Little Mermaid cup. Um, I don't know the age, but it was only 41 cents. Had to get it. We do really well with melamine. This is so funny. Little kitchen measure, four ounces. I mean, so cute and weird. 41 cents. I think I'll keep it. Now this I loved. It's like a mini replica of the Aladdin thermoses and it's from Fred products. I love Fred products and what it is, is a flask. $1.49, I could not, not get it um, right up my alley. Maybe I'll go to a few functions with that. I don't know what kind of functions. Flea market, we'll see. No, I don't drink on the job. That's a lie, just kidding. Okay, anyways, um, $2, this is a really nice Disney mug. I especially love this. No chips, no craps. <laughs> Y'all, this is my third video to film. <laughs> No chips or cracks, not craps. Anyways, love it. Um, this is a grandma mug. Disney. Very well made. Look, there's little Duffy. So cute from Disney World. Originally $12.95. Maybe it can go for about the same. Um, I recognized the foot of this mug right away. It is Francoma and it has this pheasant on it. I think that's what it is. Really, really cool. I haven't looked it up. Uh, Francoma doesn't sell as much as I'd like it to, but I just can't help it when I see it in a thrift store for like a dollar. In fact, that was probably 41 cents, and I bet you it could go for about 12. Um, these were at the very back of the glassware, and they're very interesting. Um, they have this drip paint inside the glass, and it's very beautiful. And I looked it up, and... I don't remember the brand name. I think it's, oh, it's Luminarch from France. Um, I saw a set of three wine glasses that were a little bigger than this, so for 25. So for 83 cents each, I thought that was great, and I would like to sell them as a set of two. They're really pretty, though. I almost want to keep them, and they are a good brand. Now, I talk about Great Wolf Lodge, and uh, this is like a pillow. Never seen the pillow before. Um, yeah, so, oh, and it's kind of heavy. Uh, her name is Violet. So yeah, I think this could sell for about 15 to 20. Um, I just throw that out because a lot of the other plushes do sell for about that much. And it was like $3. So um, this was $3 as well. And it's Spot from 2008. 
And you guys, this, we have sold a spot before that was uh, smaller for 18. And um, this particular one, or it might have been one that's a little tiny bit bigger by a few inches, has sold for 50 bucks. But also it sells for like 20 and 25 so it's very all over the place. So for $3, I'm confident we could probably at least get 20 which is worth it. Now this, I love so much. I love whale sharks. And it's big, and it's Japanese, and it was $3. And Matthew read it to me, Mochipuni Panda, from some kind of trading company. I just love it, and I want to sell it. But if not, I think it's super cute. It is big, though, but it's very squishy. And speaking of squishy, squish, this is from Manhattan Toy Company. Squishimals are very popular right now. Um, this is their version of Squishimals, and I actually think this could go for about $12, and it was only probably $0.41. Cents. That's what it usually is. Um, this Victoria Station is popular. This is the Wharf Rat. I might keep this. It's not in the best condition just because it has a few places where the uh, text is rubbing off. But look, it has the recipe for a wharf rat. And it sounds a little tiki-like because it has Puerto Rican rum and brandy and juice and grenadine. So yeah, really, really cool for 41 cents. I could not help but pick that up. And now for these beauties. I saw this one first, and it has the box. Let me get the box. Um, this, ooh, it is Mikasa brand. And I recently purchased a Mikasa thing in the box. It was $2. It is the Excelsior pattern or line. It's a bud vase, 8 inches, um, from Germany. And this sells pretty well for about 15 or 18 um, And I saw one listing had this with it. And later, I found it new in the box. Okay, and it still has a sticker, actually. Um, and this was $3. Very, very pretty. And I don't buy a lot of stuff like this, so I want to get more into glass and crystal. It's a flare bowl, nine inches from Mikasa. So yeah, those were really cool. Spent $5 total. And maybe we could get 25 for that or more because it has the boxes. Um, people love to have the box. So yeah, um, a nice cute little haul for y'all. Hope you enjoyed. Please give us a like, comment on what you enjoyed, watch our other videos. Keep digging for treasure, and remember, it's not hoarding if you at least try to sell it. Am I right? Am I right? Oh, yeah. Ooh, that is dirty. With thrift. Okay, what a weird ending. Bye-bye!